Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at order of rotational symmetry. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off with um, a couple of shapes here. So we're going to start with the rectangle square, and then we're going to look at this eight sided shape again. Well, not eight sided shape, but the green shape, as I like to call it. And then we're going to look at this particular shape as well. So what does order of rotational symmetry mean? So what it means is that if I take this rectangle and how many times can I rotate it um, so that the same shape actually comes back? So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I'm going to try and rotate this rectangle. So at the moment, I'm rotating it quite freely. But let's say I'm starting from here. If I'm starting from here, as you can see, at 90 degrees, the shape it doesn't look exactly the same. But at 180 degrees, it's starting to look the same. But at 270, it's not. And then 360, it's come back to its original shape. So if you think about it, uh, from 0 to 360, it's at two, uh, two stages where the rectangle actually comes back to its original shape. So we can say that the order of rotational symmetry for a rectangle is actually going to be 2. So we're going to write that down as 2 for the rectangle. Let's have a look at the square here. Now, if I was to just rotate the square, um, as you can see right now, it's kind of going freely there. But let's say I start from this corner here. So I rotate the uh, square 90 degrees, and it's actually coming back to what the original um, square actually looks like. And then if I keep going at 180, it's coming back to, again, its original shape. Keep going at about 270, it's coming back to its original shape. And then at about 360, it's come back to its original shape. So for a square, we've actually gone through four times and it's um, kind of at four times, it's keeping its original shape. So the order of rotational symmetry for a square is going to be four. Now let's look at this um, particular green shape here. So what I've done here, folks, is that I've actually shaded one of those um, kite shape things as a gray color. So you can actually see what's happening here. So I'm going to start rotating this. So here is my first rotation. And now after like, how do you call it? Not first rotation, like the first turn, um, we've got the shape still remaining. Then when we go up here, that's we've done like kind of like two little turns and the shape is the same. And we go here, that's three, four, and we got five, six, seven, and finally we come back to its original spot, which is gonna be eight. So this particular shape, we can rotate it eight times, and you're gonna actually have the same original shape as what you had before. So the order of rotational symmetry for this particular shape is going to be eight. Let's have a look at the next one here. All right, so for this particular shape, what we're going to be looking at is we're going to try and see what happens here when we do a rotational, um, to try and figure out the order of rotational symmetry for this. So I've created a little copy of it in the background and I'm going to start rotating it. We're going to go, okay, so that's one, that's two, three, four, five, six, and I'm coming back to the final one, which is seven. So this particular shape has a rotational, um, order of rotational symmetry is gonna be seven. So this shape can actually go around that center seven times and it should be able to actually um, kind of repeat that same image again. So for the pink shape here, we're gonna go with order of rotational symmetry as seven. And that's just a quick little intro into order of rotational symmetry, folks. Oh, forgot to write the seven there. Let's write the seven first. There we go. Seven for that, and that's us. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.